At first I thought this tent was overkill, but the snow was becoming more of a nuisance on the deck and these drainage holes were making a mess. So between the two storms I rebuilt the tent to be more weatherproof and have a cleaner layout with more enclosed space. After removing a slew of accumulated ice, I stripped the tattered tarps off the frame. There was this huge pile of rocks and debris on the deck from the excavation, which had been fused with snow and ice and was in the way. This was like excavating all over again because all the rocks and dirt had basically become solid and I had to move them all over to the nearby hill. I moved most of the materials out of the space and then brought in some more lumber to frame up a new set of rafters that extended to the wall of the house. And this would enclose the area with the circular saw and just generally give more space to work without being covered in snow and having snow encroach on all the sides of the tent. The last thing I wanted was the rear of the tent to collapse with the accumulated ice and snow and fall into the area where the deck was. So to stave off that, I uh, added a set of rafters to the back of the tent up the hill a bit. Additionally, I added a little bit of wood on the rafters so that they would have a peak more or less and added a, a ridge beam. Uh, this allowed me to add a bunch of battens which connected the rafters and would help support all the snow, but also help let the snow slide off because there'd be an angle to it. This time I used six mil poly instead of those tarps, so this would let a lot more light in. I wanted to use the greenhouse effect to my advantage so that any sun in this cold winter would kind of heat the space. Um, there was another snow on its way, so after dark I finished up the walls with more plastic and built simple roll-up doors from sheets of poly so I could keep out most of the weather. Alright, let's take a tour. Welcome to the hot tub shop. This whole structure is built to build this hot tub, which we're almost done with the forms and getting ready to pour. Here's our miter saw station with plumbing storage. This is where all the materials are organized. Mostly plumbing parts right now, glues, stuff like that. The formwork in progress and the tool storage section with all the tools organized. Uh, and then the clear plastic canopy. Let's light in. All right, I'll turn on the lights. So, spending some time getting your place set up pays dividends when you can just keep working. 